Hey, what's up, guys? This is Spaggy here. Today, I got uh, action figure review. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the Man of Steel, Movie Master Superman. So, before I get into the video, I'm just going to quickly show the packaging, which you've probably already seen. I'm not going to go in depth with it. It's it's kind of a cool package, to be honest. I, I like it. There's back Superman, Joel, and Zod. Very cool stuff. I picked up Superman. This is the first one. I got from the wave, um, but I decided to get this one, y'all, Superman, he's the main, you know, best one, you know, Char character-wise, he's my favorite out of the three. Uh, I really like the Superman figure, I think it's really cool, now, before you start going, you know, thinking I'm falling in love with the figure, uh, it does have its problems, I will address that later, um, one, the problem, I, number one, I, this cape, and that, it's this little indent here, it's just, it, the way it goes in between his legs, it looks doesn't look that bad on film, but in person it sort of looks a little awkward. Um, two, uh, the articulation. Um, I always have problems with the DC figures articulation, but this one is bad because it doesn't even have the ab crunch. It's sort of like the um, the Green Lantern one, which is just this articulation on this one is just terrible. Absolutely horrendous. I tell you, it's a really cool looking figure. Anyway, so it does not have the app crunch. Uh, and that's really it. Um, I got a scuff on my hand. Uh, his hand, where can I get it to show? It's right there. See, I'm filming on a webcam, so it's a little hard. But other than that, I mean, it's a really nice um, Superman figure. Uh, it, it looks good. It's accurate to the actor. Where did I put that? The stand. I was going to show you the stand. Here it is. Uh, so the stand he comes with, this is his only accessory, it's the sand peg here. And it's really nice uh, sculpted um, stand, I guess. Superman logo, of course, but... Anyways, onto the figure. Now, the, the detail and sculpt and paint is absolutely um, tremendous. I, I love the way this figure just looks. Um, see, the head sculpt looks just like Henry Cavill. I love this S and the gold, and this whole figure has this really nice, um, almost like a scaly, scaled texture to it, whatever. Uh, I just think this is an awesome looking Superman suit. And the boots have like this matted finish to it. It's just a great looking Superman suit. Uh, it, it's perfect for the movie, it looks just completely awesome, and it still looks recognizable to the character. Which I, I just... I was a fan of this suit right as I saw it. It's like if you take the new 52 version and you upgrade it to this. Um, I, I cannot tell you how much I love this suit. I, I actually think I like it more than I do the uh, Nolan Batman suit. Which, move that over. This is an awesome suit right here. This is like one of the best superhero to movie, you know, adaptations of the suit. Well, it's not like a direct... You know what I mean? Like a change up. You know what I mean? Like they changed up things. This is like probably this was probably one of the best changes to a superhero costume. Yet yeah, still recognizable to character. That's what I like. You know, I also like about Nolan and he's doing producing the movie, but it it's it's a great looking suit. Henry Cavill is a great choice to um whoever casted him is a genius. Uh, anyways, the articulation, the head cannot look up, it can look down. He does have a ball joint shoulder, a bicep swivel, a single joint elbow, turn at the wrist, a waist swivel, can kick forward around that far, and he can kick back around that far. He does have a thigh swivel, as well as a double joint at the knee, and he can flex at the foot. And obviously peg holes because of the base. Um, but overall, I say it's a great figure. And I'm gonna go even as far as giving him, you know, on my rating scale. If I had fancy editing, I'd show you what the scale is, but I'm just gonna tell you it. It's um, pretty much a pass, which is the worst. Uh, pick it up on sale, which is, you know, it's good, so you can pick it up on sale if you want. Uh, buy it at full price, meaning it's worth buying at full price, and the must buy. I'm gonna go as far as giving this guy a must buy. This is just a gorgeous superman figure and i don't like giving out must buys a lot but uh, 
definitely worth the money. It's 15 bucks. I got it at Target. Check the back of the store, not the toy section. Be in. I found this in the food department. They had a whole section, but before we leave, I'm just going to show you a size comparison, which is what I call the movie Justice League figures. Uh, now, granted, this is not the movie Justice League. This is just movie figures of Batman, Green Lantern, but I think this looks cool. As a Marvel fan, this does look pretty cool. Uh, now, Superman, this might be the starting building block for a Justice League movie. But if there is a Justice League movie, I can guarantee you they probably will reboot the Green Lantern franchise. Not that it really needs it. I thought it was good, but whatever. And maybe not. It's, it's questionable. They're questioning whether or not this Nolan Universe Batman would be uh, in the Justice League movie. I think it would be terrible if they decide to put this Universe Batman with... Um, with uh, the Justice League, because this is just too realistic, to be honest. But anyways, I want to know what you guys think of this figure if you bought them. I also want to know which one you guys have purchased your Man of Steel tickets. Um, I'm getting them two days from now. Maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day. It depends, but whatever. Um, I'm really excited for the movie. we got two more weeks to go. Two more weeks to go. I know it's going to be hard, but we are going to get through it, and we are going to see this Man the Man of Steel movie. And I just hope that it's awesome because we have not seen a good Superman movie since Superman 2. Anyways, that's all I have to say, guys. Peace.